I'm not sure how this procedure goes because this will be the first time that I've done this. Mm -hmm. uh, so I don't know if you guys, if this is your meeting, or if you guys leave this thing and then ask us questions. Usually the other way around. We leave. Yeah. You guys usually okay. tell we would go through the budget. Okay. For usually we look at where we're at. Okay. Which I did not send you because Toby did not send me that. So you must have it. No, I, this was the first time I've seen it. I got it today. Oh, you got you sent to it to him. Copies. Okay. I gave it yeah. to them. Okay. Perfect. Yeah. So, Toby sent them to me. Okay. Who calls meetings to order? So it's a joint meeting. So you guys call your meeting to order. We call our meeting. We just called our meeting to order. Right. And okay. are you guys called to order? I don't. We don't warn. We don't have a quorum. Yeah. 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 Okay. yeah. You're right. Okay. So we do. Yeah. We have to. Um, so we have so, no yeah. public comment. No additions or changes to the agenda, right? Right. Okay. Yeah. Cool. So let me let me start by um, th this is going to be my first time in. Uh, if I look like I'm unprepared, it's probably because that's the case. Uh, we just got back from that. Uh, yeah. I was out. My hands haven't warmed up yet. But, um, so I, I drove. So, so it is. So it is um, a little bit unorganized, but mm -hmm. I did not want to cancel the meeting. No, uh, thank you because, for that. Because uh, we, we need to get this. The budget in because right. it's good toward the end of the year. Well, and we're yeah. working on budget. Right. We've been meeting yeah. on Saturdays. Yeah. So our other member that was going to speak is actually still up there. Uh, so, so the, uh, we're a little bit short. Mm -hmm. Yeah. Okay. And the uh, as far as some of the paperwork, uh, because of the transition of the uh, president, um, not the president, but the chief, the board uh, membership, we we're not up to speed on all of it yet. Uh, one of them is the capital plan. Mm -hmm. uh, we, we don't, we do not have an updated capital plan, uh, which I don't believe is at this point is crucial. But it's, we're working on it, and mm -hmm. we can get it to you. Who's doing that stuff now? Well, Toby's well, still Toby's doing it, but see, he's, he can't be here because he's in New Hampshire at a funeral. Oh gosh! And, uh, which means you don't have a quorum either. Oh, uh, this is not a meeting for us. <laughs> this is not a meeting for us. <laughs> <laughs> no, no. Uh, so so I've got to uh, bear gonna with us. Uh, we're going to try to do our best because there is a, 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 a crucial thing on the agenda why I did not want to cancel the meeting tonight uh, on, on our agenda. Oh. Yeah, on our agenda. So, budget. So maybe we could just quickly go through yep. the, where we are actuals. So when it shows a negative amount, that means you're under budget. Which which one do you want here? The one Judy just gave us? Yeah. Okay. Okay. Sure. Which one? Oh, 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 okay. It's this stuff. This one. I got yeah. it. Sorry. So when it shows a negative, like it shows insurance reimbursements, negative fifteen thousand, that is under budget or over budget? I never can remember. Well, if it's way over on the over budget line, it's going to show a negative, so that we are over budget. Like, take the line of dispatch, mm -hmm. seven hundred and eighty, uh, and then you budgeted, okay. budgeted eleven thousand four hundred, and we're over over by uh, ten thousand dollars. So you have that amount 10, available, right? It's not over, it's we haven't spent that. That's, yeah. what, that's I mean. what we yeah. got. Yeah. That's what I mean. When it shows a negative amount, yeah. that's what you got left. Right. Yeah. Correct. Yeah. Okay. Correct. Yeah. Right. Um, yeah. So, is there anything that, any line item in particular? I mean, we're only into what, what July, August, September, October, four months. Four months, yeah. Into the budget. Yeah, when Toby, uh, he didn't say anything to me at the last meeting. It was nothing that stood, that out. stood out at us uh, okay. for this for these four months. Everything looked good. Okay. Yeah. All right. Yeah. Do you guys have any questions? Not yet. I mean, the price of fuel oil is just going to be crazy, be right? Not only, yeah. not only fuel oil. But diesel, 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 diesel for the truck. Diesel. How do you guys get your diesel? Do you have a tank? No, we, we get ours through uh, Packard's. 
Packard's down here by the by the um, industrial Packard's industrial lane. Ellery. Yeah. Uh, Ellery Packard. Yeah. We, get, we get it through him. I mean, you just you take the trucks there and fill yeah. them up. Yeah. Yeah. Oh. Well, yeah. So, so every truck has a card over the driver's visor, mm -hmm. so every truck is recorded what truck is using how much fuel, and we also get our what tax. We don't have to pay tax on the fuel tax for right. We get. Well, we pay it, but but. Uh, we submit to the state a record of mm -hmm. of it, and they refund the diesel tax. Right. Yeah, we just actually renewed. Rick and I are in learning mode with town stuff. We just re-upped our exemption, as the town of Callis can get an exemption on the tax. So if you guys don't get exempted, but you get a discount. You got to get your no, tax exempt. We're exempt, okay. but, exempt. Uh, yeah. but we get you it at the, the state, end. state, you got to have that thing that they want. So they wanted yeah. record by record of how much, you use, right? of how much we got, how much we paid for diesel, no, how much we paid in taxes, <laughs> and then they refunded what, what they were supposed to. Right. Do you have an extra copy of this? I printed mm -hmm. out the document. No, this is something we didn't get. Okay. We're just looking at this right now. Which is, a copy for you too. Mm -hmm. Oh. Did you want everything? This is what we just got from them tonight. Yeah, you don't okay. have to. You don't have that. Okay. Don't have that okay. So I'm curious. Do your miles travel stay fairly consistent oh, from year to year? I know that depends on calls. Thank you. Everything else, but do you find that kind of averages out? Oh boy, it's Andy. What is it? It's miles on on the on the rig. I'm miles miles on the rig for what? I'm curious, uh, you know, your general miles on the vehicles, you know, from year to year. Does it does it average out pretty well closely? Or I know it's for how much calls. fuel we use. No, actually, miles driven. You know, when you do, you guys. I, you I don't even think we really keep track of how many miles year to year on all our rigs to know how many miles. Yeah. You know, it really so it varies. I mean, yeah. we like to take our yeah. heavy yeah. rescue. But a lot of times we only take engine two, you know, and it's, so it's calls vary, and it's kind of hard to say. Well, we're using our heavy rescue too much, but not too many miles. You know, it's like it, the call is a call. It is it, what it is. It yeah, is. No, and I'm I, just curious. And I don't. I wouldn't, no, I wouldn't. we aren't really keeping track of mileage to really. Same thing with our ambulances. The only thing I can say about the ambulance is we try to save rescue four. For the rougher times of the year, it's a more of a heavier Robust. ambulance for the back roads and mud season and all that. So we run Rescue 3 ambulance most of the time during the off season that it's not muddy and harder on the roads. Yeah, yeah. So yeah. you guys, as a board, you haven't reviewed these either? I've not seen that, no. No. Okay. no. no. What is the uh, salary stipend and when is that distributed? Is that kind of a... That is in that report. Yeah, yeah. Your budget. You budgeted for three forty-eight seven eighty-six, and so far. Wait, which one are you looking at? Fire. Um, ambulance. ambulance. I'm sorry. Oh, okay. Ambulance. So the ambulance. Yeah. Is that the budget. Uh, the stipend. Mm -hmm. I believe has been figured out, and I'm not sure if it's been distributed, but it will, it will be like within a few days if it, that, if, it, if it if it hasn't already. Does it? But do you do it every month? Or no, you, annual. Annual. Yeah, just okay. before Christmas. It's all, right, okay. Sandy? I don't think so. I, I don't recall giving ambulance stipends. I don't no, no, know no, what just that means. Oh, that's, that's correct. The, the stipend the that, is in the fire. that we give on fire, is a it's fire stipend. Well, there is a salary. Well, there is a stipend line. There is a stipend line in the fire right. um, of where you're at now. Right. It's, it's like ninety four hundred dollars. Yeah. Ninety four. Yeah. Yeah. So that's 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 that is the EMT. No, just a minute. Let me, let, me, let me back up. The the stipend is ninety four hundred dollars for all of the volunteers, firefighters. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. Uh, that gets paid out on Christmas, so that will not reflect it in okay. here. Yep. That's like the, over. So it's zero. Mm -hmm. Right. But right. ambulance okay. is probably salary costs, correct? Right. And well, see what, what happens thinking. is that that has to be transferred from fire over to ambulance to pay it because it's paid through salary. Our okay. salary right. all comes out of the ambulance fund. Right. Okay, so the, the salary stipend for the ambulance though, don't you pay, I don't know if you pay per hour, but I thought you paid per diem for ambulance. Is, there, is, is that what's called stipend for ambulance? It says salary I'll, I'll, I'll help stipend. clear it up. Okay. So what Paul just mentioned is correct. 
when it says there's a payroll tax stipend, it's because it's a payroll tax on stipends that the fire guys got with that $9,400 that we give out stipends. Because when we pay for stipends, we withhold taxes. And it's got to get recorded somewhere, and all our payroll goes through the ambulance payroll tax. So all the payroll fees, stipend, payroll tax, stipend, it's not like we're giving any of our EMS people stipends. We're not. No, well, I was looking at the stipend line for the ambulance. That's what I'm saying. Where, where does it say it? It says it's 5500 salary stipend. Um, your budgeted is $348,786. And you've expended 101,585. You know, that, that, that's salary. I don't know what the word stipend is there. Well, for. it may be lumping stipend in if, okay. if you're oh. running that. I think it's running through when it goes through to get yeah. into payroll. Because yeah. payroll is on the side. You see how that's confusing? Yeah. It is confusing. None of our, our per diem people are getting stipends. They're getting per diems. They're per all getting per diem. And per diem doesn't show up on ambulance piece so it must be yeah, it's it's south south. It's south. Right, right so that must be the per diems right right, right. Okay. Yeah. I think the word stipend in there is confusing it is, it is. It is. Yeah. I, I don't think it should be there under salary yeah. so just, but they eventually will take the fire stipend the 9400 yeah they'll transfer it into salary so maybe that's why it's that slash that stipend yeah. that 94 yeah. has to get transferred over and then they pay it through the set through the uh, correct the account so that's that's probably why right exactly right we're so going right to take now, it out of the fire budget right. and put it into the cam one's budget to yeah. pay so it so right now that that stipend for the fire is not in this 101 uh, right it's 101. not in the 101 it's not in the 348 right it's not there yet oh, okay. right. no that's confusing yeah, it is. Tell me about it. Hey, remember I said I was learning? Mm -hmm. I know right. what I mean. Yeah. Well, we're yeah. learning together because yeah. that's the most I've yeah. ever heard about it. Any, any other questions on your budget now? <clears throat> you guys have anything else you want to tell us about this? Uh, it's, 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 um, <laughs> I say that the last board meeting, nothing was really that come out that uh, unusual. Yeah. The first quarter. Okay. I think we're. Yeah, and you just had your audit done, so. You have, co you have copies of the yeah. audit. Yeah, I read yeah. it. Yeah. Kind of general stuff. Mm -hmm. I, yeah. I read it over this afternoon. It wasn't it was kind of hard reading. Yeah. <laughs> yeah, it was a clean audit. Yeah, yeah, yeah. I didn't see any. Yeah. Yeah. Uh, the other report uh, that we don't, I don't have for you. Maybe I already mentioned about the number of runs. Do we go on? Oh, yeah, the call volume. Yeah, we, yeah. Uh, we do not have because uh, Toby was not here to run it okay. for us. To but we can get that to yeah. you. Unless, do you know where it is? I talked with Toby today. He says we only give it out at the end of the end, end of the it's year. True. No, no we don't, they give it to us every time we meet. That was Toby's words to me today. Mm -hmm. oh. Toby no. says, no, we don't. It's, it's only at the end of the year. They get all the, our call volume and everything. I said, okay, Toby, but the chief was asking me to get it from Toby, and I gave Toby a call, and I said, hey, can we get a printout of our call volume? How many Marshfield, how many Playfield? He said, oh, yeah, we always get that. Every, I, think, every, I think we get it every, my recollection, Judith, you and I were at a meeting together where we had some really hard conversation about that. And I'm like, well, you can bring that to well, Toby's but, attention. Well, that is. Toby's going to watch our movie here tonight. <laughs> so, <laughs> yeah, the reason I remember hearing in this meeting for, I don't know why I'm talking tonight, um, for not giving it to you every time is because it, it's some of it's yearly, some of it's, you know, two different years. And to get the comparison, you've got to get through the whole year if you want a yearly comparison. And we're still in December. Right, but I just know every time, as long as I've been coming to these meetings, every time yeah. we've met, we've gotten the call volume. That's so, right. So let me, I want to say, go back to, we, what I remember, and Judith, I'm looking at you because I think we were looking at six month chunks. Does that sound right to you? Yeah. Yeah. And for, from the big discussion that night was on where are the trends. So we were seeing a point of time, past six months, whatever it was, doesn't matter. And there was no data no historic data 
it was one column press. It could have been past year, I don't know. But it was one data point and no trends. And I, I, from, I'm speaking only for myself, but I'm less interested in whether it's every meeting or whether it's a six month window or a one year window. The most important piece of information is what is the trend. Now, when you Over, say trend, help me out with what the trend you're looking at. Increasing looking. numbers. Increasing, but not just the verbal. Yo, it's, oh, it's, I think somebody it's said. Comparison. It's, oh, okay. it's, oh, right. it's up. I can tell you it's up. I don't want you to tell okay. me it's up. You I want to see a trend. I yeah. want to see the historic data going right. back three, five, even ten years to show the trend from a data perspective, not from a verbal anecdotal perspective. Well, that so helps we want, us because we, you know, in, Thinking about your growth needs too. Or yeah. You know, so you want fire and ambulance. Right. Well, yeah. and when yep. we talk right. about it, it's actually great that we don't have it, and we can have this conversation instead of looking at a single data point. So when Toby produces it at the end of the year for one year, perhaps what Toby could also do is go back to historic reports and build a presentation around historic trends of the past five or ten years. That would mm -hmm. be a really valuable discussion and a really valuable report yeah. to see. Yeah, because it's hard to know, you know, if you're meeting. looking at the sheet that shows the call volume, yeah. but you don't have anything yeah. to compare it to. Yep. So, this so it's like it would be a, care, a comparison would be really mm -hmm. helpful. Oh, I agree. Never baseline. Yeah. I, I agree. You guys, I I, and I and I wish I I was more computer savvy that I could go in there and press a button and call up the the chart that will let me print out call volume. Mm -hmm. I don't have a clue how to do it. Yeah. Called Toby today and he said well, he doesn't but, give it until the end of the year. So still be only one point in time. If, yep. From what okay. we heard the last Yeah, if you get it every six months or every time we meet and you get a history exactly. of the past every time right. we meet. Yeah, the right. data well, is there or the data has been generated on yes. a periodic basis, but yep. not kind of evaluating or compiling, you know, years the historic. of that data. Yep. Well, yep. Yep. Well, yep. Yep. What I would, you know, yep. what I would say in that, the nice thing is that fiscal years that have been completed, that data is all fixed, right? So that just resides in a summary sheet. Yep. Summary. And then you're just adding, you know, the basically current. year to date right. yep. current. So we can kind of see that trending. I think for the, the main thing there is that you, it, it tells you a lot about well, your growing it. need. Mm -hmm. Right. Yep. Well, it helps us all to be understand, wow, yep. look at the call volume going up. Yep. No yep. wonder the ambulance needs to be replaced. Yep. So, yeah. um, so if, if we try to get it together, a, a, a summary of what three year last three years, three to five, three to five, or even what? ten. I mean, ten is really meaningful because you're starting that. to I see some think, numbers. I don't know if we go that far. <coughs> I don't think we're going to have. Yeah, the we'll, we'll, we'll see. What, it, yeah. yeah, if it's, it's if it's got it, yeah. if it's no more than ten, then then yeah, whatever you have. Whatever we can The invitation, the night yeah. that we talked about it, the invitation was for us to go back and dig back, dig up all the old paper that had been presented to us and do it ourselves. Yeah. And nobody has time. Well, <laughs> I don't have all that paper, and I think that the review and the analysis and the meaning of that trend line and where it's coming from and what you, mm -hmm. you know, anecdotes and observations from the crew on top of that data is really uh, illuminating. Well, it tells a story. Yeah. 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 You know, it tells about growth. It right. tells us where we're at. Yeah. 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 But and I it's think he explained that that was not a simple matter. But it is if you have the paper, if you've produced it, you're, if you've produced it every six months or every year, Toby then, should have then it. somebody has the history. And Toby's excellent on Excel. He can right. put together an Excel table that shows the trend line. Yeah, so I mean, I guess the, the, the request back to Toby is to review the historical data going back at least five years and show us a comparison. Review and present. Of, you know, fire, ambulance. Um, that would help us because we're not, you know, we don't see the data all the yeah. time. Yeah. We're not here all the time. Okay. Yeah. Yep. I got that note. Okay. okay. Um, any more questions on the current where we were at for the quarter? No. no I know. Anybody Sorry. else? No. So, um, we, we, we discussed the budget, not the budget, the, um, the uh, audit, but that's pretty Yeah, you got no to clean that. on it. Um, what's, what's, 
the proposed budget next? Yeah. Okay. Um, so uh, I'm glad Sandy's here on this. Um, do you have any questions on it first? This, this is going to get uh, into some in-depth discussion here. Okay, well, I did. I had. I, I did put together a list of questions. Mm -hmm. Wait, which one are we on? I'm sorry. I'm um, we're, we're looking at. The we're going to look budget. at both and to see if we and have any questions. Are, and they, they are not written down which they are, but here. No, I, I printed them, but they didn't all print. No, no, no. Are we back on the one that you guys gave me that we didn't have before? No. Are okay. no, we looking at the wrong thing? No, this one. It's these. Fire and ambulance. Fire and ambulance. Is that the That's right just one? fire. Yeah. That's yes, a fire. This is fire. This is ambulance. This is yeah. ambulance. This we have. You have. I it didn't. just doesn't say ambulance at the top. Right. right. Like the one that has Marshfield plain field contribution is going to be ambulance. Right. I, yeah. yeah. I figured that out. <laughs> so I did go through this line by line. Oh, okay. And have some questions. Mm -hmm. That's um, And I don't know whether your yeah, questions, fine. my questions or our questions, are going to be answered by whatever further stuff you said you're going to get into. Oh, no, that's, that, that's no. Uh, something uh, concerning the budget, but nothing to do with these numbers. Oh, okay. Um, I did have... Did you guys receive ARPA funds? Receive what funds? Did, did, did you receive ARPA funding? I'm not sure what that is. American Rescue Plan. American Rescue Plan. You know, the towns all got ARPA money? No, not that I'm aware of. Okay. Uh, you want to give us some? <laughs> But, <laughs> oh. Was there a salary? It, it was, was capital projects, emergency, one time expenditures, and <clears throat> we got all the towns got our funds. Right. Wow. Well, you got it. town might have got some, but we the town got some, but we didn't get it. Well, that was my question. You did had you to apply get, for it. Did you get uh, special ARPA funding as a volunteer? No. 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 Okay. No. That was my question. Um, I guess just overall, I wonder with the cost, rising cost of heating oil and diesel and all those kinds of things, mm -hmm. um, if you've gone out and kind of done some shopping on who can give you the best price. I mean, I think I, you know, I know I do that at home. You know, who's yeah. going to give us the best price for our propane or heating oil? <laughs> so I just didn't know if, if you guys had like a purchasing policy where you go out and <clears throat> Do some shopping to get the best price. The um, we they did they did some some of that this year. However, it was starting to increase pretty rapidly by the time that we get on it. Um, so we ended up going, I believe, with the same company yeah. as we had last year that we felt at the time that we did this was about the best. Um, if you, you started use, back in April, who do you, and you use Packard? No, no. Um, for, for heating is heating. Do you use Who's the heating oil? Con I think we used still with Conti. Conti, I think. Okay. So as far as diesel for uh, our trucks. You're buying diesel for, through Packard. Through Packard's, right. Yeah. Right. And, uh, but th by the time they get on it, the, the, the prices were, were going up substantially. Yeah. And if we started it back in April, mm -hmm. they probably would have been a, a different situation, which next year, yeah. again, right. it's yeah. all new people on the board in um, learning when the stuff should be. Uh, started, for example, you know, looking at oil. Yeah. We found out that we started late. Okay. You know, but next year you're going to do some yeah. research. Yeah. But going to Denise's, uh, the other piece of the question, is there a purchasing policy? Like, is there a purchasing policy? A, a policy that says if we're going to spend X amount, I, there's a whole other process for equipment, but I don't know where the line is for what's equipment and what's just you know, kind of general maintenance. Um, for large items, there is. Like our fire truck, we did. We put it out for bids, purchasing. Sure, but under a policy, is there a policy that says, here's how our purchasing works, here's the circumstances in which we price shop, here's the circumstances in which, you know, something under whatever number, 200, 500, somebody is allowed to make that purchase without authorization. Um, without board authorization. Without board authorization, it still comes obviously comes through the the invoicing process. So somebody sees the expense. Um, yeah, when do you go out to bid? What are the criteria if you're out to bid? What are the criteria for decision making? How do you com how do you compare? Because price may not be the only consideration. Mm -hmm. So you want to articulate. 
clearly what your other things that you would weigh and how they how they fit against the price who ultimately decides yeah what's the what's the timeline I, I you're making this sound a lot worse than it is yeah you know, you're, with you. uh, we do want large items we, large items yeah. we do for the but most well, cases we don't just say we want a generator go out and buy a generator but is there a get, purchasing policy that backs it up? That we over, have we have a committee that oversees the Best Buy. Is there no. a purchasing policy? They don't. The well, answer, your answer is no. Yeah. They don't. Well, yeah, the only thing that I know that we have a policy yeah. on is if if it is um, over fifty dollars, two hundred and fifty dollars mm -hmm. purchase, it has to go to the board. That's, yeah, is that in writing? Is that in writing? Yes, that is. Yeah, so yeah, they, no, okay, that's what we're looking. I don't think that every board, every bill that's paid is it has to be approved by the board right. every month. Right. Uh, but every so every purchase over two hundred fifty. I believe it's two hundred fifty. I think that's what it is. Has to be pre-approved. No. A purchasing policy has to be approved by the board. Before, yeah. before in advance, before the purchase is authorized, or that after? Uh, I don't. That's up in the air. Yeah, you know, that's up in the air. Because a lot of the stuff is we buy like is you, you need it. You know, if we go Sorry. if we go through a board wait for a board meeting, we're going to get way behind on on stuff that we need. Say, for yeah. instance, we need our toner replaced. We leave it in her hands to contact Staples, I believe, don't, didn't you buy it or did Larry <laughs> buy it? And go down and get the best deal on five, three or four boxes of toner. Uh, they're expensive. These yeah. are boxes of toner yeah. for the printer. Mm -hmm. He isn't going to go and buy the most expensive. He's going to get the best deal again. So to have a policy and say, look, before you buy the toner, come to the board no. and review this purchase of three hundred dollars. We so can't. We can't. What, what we're getting, Callis, uh -huh. the town of Callis, uh -huh. has a purchasing policy. So anything over five hundred thousand, five thousand dollars, we do. We go out for a bid. If it's under five hundred thousand dollars, it just needs five hundred, five thousand. Yeah, five thousand. Um, and there is a. Mm -hmm. We have emergency. If there are things, there are contingency. Then, if it's emergency. You know, you could yeah. have override that. It just has to be documented. Well, right, right 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 yeah. well you might want to consider whatever you do, yeah. whatever is practical. Yeah. Whatever you do, write it up. Have the board adopt it. Say you're protected. So this year, this is just for you. This is for your protection. Yeah. yeah. So, so right. this year we we had a snowplow. I'm going to call it proposals. I'm not going to call it yeah. a bid because it was a, a bid. Yeah. Uh, proposals from from three different vendors. Mm -hmm. and, and how did you decide what was the criteria for deciding deciding who got it mm -hmm. yeah it was we looked at them all we looked at all the price uh, we looked at what they could do um, their their location uh, and who did you decide on we tied on Ty roller okay and that brings me to my other question about a conflict of interest policy it's, it's not a conflict it's not of a interest conflict of interest because he was he, the best he, best because he bid. had the best price okay. he was yeah. the best bid for yeah. the job we knew yeah. his service and what he was doing besides what was in his contract, and we're going to hold him to it. He's plowing out our dry hydrants that he didn't put in the contract, but neither did anybody else when they bid on it. And Ty's been doing this for years, been doing a good job plowing, salting, and sanding. And yet, when it was brought to our attention, well, is he going to do the dry hydrants? Well, none of the other bids had it in their dry hydrant either. And he was the best deal, and we knew that Ty will ply out our dry hydrants. Mm -hmm. And and we also had he's a member that done in the past. We done it in the past. It, it, it's, the it was a simple decision, and it wasn't a conflict of interest because he was on the board, or or he's not on the board, but he was past chief or something. Mm -hmm. That wasn't the case. We didn't take that more or less. You took it to bid. You compared the apples to. Apples, mm -hmm. to apples, apples to apples, and, mm -hmm. and that's a okay. that's well, and that's where that's actually that's, a really, that's what we're getting at. That's yeah. a really excellent example of what a purchasing policy would help to guard or protect. Is your purchasing policy would say for this kind of a contract because it's going to be more than X number of dollars, um, we will go out to bid, we will receive at least three bids, we will consider the following criteria boom, 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 boom. Um, Price, yeah. service level, location, you know, keep it, whatever you want to include. You want it to be generic enough that it applies beyond plowing. But then you've got, we have nine, nine points of criteria in our purchasing policy. 
that we use to compare bids for whatever it is. And then you've got the bids and the numbers, you've got the criteria, you've got the policy, you've got all these things protecting you from a claim of conflict of interest when you go through a policy like that or a purchase like that. Yeah, I mean, it's just a good protection for, for you as a yeah. department to have, especially like if we ask questions. So can you send us that, your policy? Sure. We will. It's old. It needs updating. I'm going to be first to tell you. Yeah, but, but it's, it's better than nothing. I was going to say it's better than nothing. Okay. So yeah, we can send you the link. It's on our town website. It is. You can go to the town mm -hmm. website, select board, or, or it's Under. government ordinances and policies. Right. It's right in there. And we do have a conflict of interest policy. Yeah, we do. do? Yeah. So we do. You, you do. The fire department does. Good. Yeah, okay, good. Great. Um, you can I ask a question about the ambulance budget? Mm -hmm. Can we just, before we go on that, I would say on the fuel, I used to buy a lot of fuel for uh -huh. yeah. as a facilities operations director. Yeah. And so it's really worth when you did those. If you don't do it, you look at any, I don't know if you burn any propane here or if you just burn fuel oil, but you burn diesel fuel, a lot of it. So it's really worth looking like the Irvings and Packard, like you're doing. They, they, those deals are, you buy, you can buy those both together, often they'll aggregate those and you can get really significant savings across your fuels. So it's worth doing a little, a yeah. little homework. I mean, I, I, and Packard, interestingly enough, was almost always, what the best? Yeah. What I always mm -hmm. found, I you know, and when I was buying it, I was buying pretty significant volumes of it. So, uh, but it was, you know, but you never knew because Irving he didn't handle say propane, and we also brought brought propane, and so there was even though say an oil fuel oil price might be a little higher, aggregated with a much lower propane price because we were buying it as a we all the oil we bought counted against the volume we were buying the propane you know, could make that cheaper. Right. So it's something to think about if you're, I don't know, if you're not. Yeah. yeah that, Rick that, knows a lot about this stuff. Um, yeah. When I look at the ambulance budget, I mean, I don't really know much about the operation, so all I'm doing is looking, are there big changes and why? That's all. And the only line I see on the budget of the ambulance that looks very different is the salary line. Mm -hmm. Which went from 293 in fiscal 22 to 348, and then you're flat. It's flat for well, fiscal 23 is 348. No, it, it, well, yeah. that's, we're well, looking that's, at that. The 293 is the FY 22 actual year to date. Right. So that's <clears throat> that's just year to date. I see. So we're not very. We're not. No, we're not. Yeah. I see. Okay. So what yeah. you're doing is holding salaries flat. Well, no, fiscal have, 22 is over. 22 is yeah, over. So that, that was a silver. Over. We're in FY23. Oh, FY22 actual. Right. Yeah, right. Actual is. So was Laura. Yeah. No, but what I guess I'm asking is the budget for this year, the year we're in, is 348. Is 348, 348. And the budget for next year Fiscal is 348. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. Right. Yeah. So you're holding salaries flat. Well, I'll get into that. We're, we're okay. going to get into that. That's okay. that's our other that. half that I'm we want to talk about. I'm guessing that's not really the proposal. Yeah. I, I have one more question, if I could. Go ahead. Line please. item 5030 on the building, which is, under, which is under fire. Fire. Because there's two buildings. Building, yeah. building one is the old one, right? Right. And this building two is the new one. Mm -hmm. And you have down FY20. Wh which number are you looking at now? F line 5030. Under, under, under fire. fire. Under fire. Yeah, under okay. fire. And it says FY22, 11, 5, FY23, 11, 5. But the actual for FY22 is 25. Okay, but that is uh, two things. Well, one that I can talk about that I know about is that we lost a well. Uh, we, we had to put a new uh, uh -huh. a new pump in our well. Oh, okay. Uh, that was one of them. But there's also, a, we also lost the something in, out in the bay. Um, the pump for the for the hydrant. The, the there's something hydrant. there's something out in the dry bay. I can't recall at the moment, but it yeah. was something. I see. Is that the dry hydrant? I no, not a dry hydrant. No, it, we have it's a hydrant the the hydrant. Wow, well, it's the sort pump. of like a dry hydrant, but yeah. So it was a new yeah, well pump and hydrant. I think it was the. I think it was another pump. In the. I think it was in the out in the bay, that went bad. Oh. 
And that in, in the well out here was very expensive to replace yeah. that. Yeah, right. yeah. So, yeah. so that's you, why it's high. And what on that same line, I do notice it's not a big increase, but your budget you increased from eleven five to fifteen. You know, was that just sort of feeling like well something else is gonna go wrong? Mm -hmm. <laughs> right. Possibility. Yeah. Okay. Yep. Yeah, and it's a, it's interesting though because we're talking about snow plowing and mowing. You budgeted, and that's number five one one two. You budgeted it for FY twenty two fifty five hundred. FY twenty two you but twenty three you budgeted fifty five hundred, and the actual for FY twenty two is zero. Yeah. We hadn't got built we, yet. Yeah. Oh, okay. Yeah. Well, well, what is tied to building once a year? They're not building. Yeah. Uh, we spoke to them about that. Oh, okay. Yeah. Yeah, and That's does he keep? Does he give you an itemized invoice? Yeah, he did this time. Okay. But yeah, he was he was behind, and uh, he was told and, and uh, out his bill. for this year not to do it again. Mm -hmm. Yeah, yeah. So that's been correct. Not to get behind again. <laughs> not to get so, that far behind. So okay, yeah. so yeah, yeah it gives a different fiscal period. Yeah. 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 Right. It's a late. Right. But. Right, and then it makes it, and then when you come down to the actual, you spent in. It's in the wrong year. Yeah. It comes out. Yeah, right. it, 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 it's on a. Right. Effective amount. It's gonna. Right. It's gonna look like we doubled. It, doubled what we spent. One year. Okay. Yeah. So Ty yeah. will, will correct billing yeah. procedures. Yeah. I, I wanted to go back to the, uh, to the uh, LP, uh, for the gas. Mm -hmm. Which number mm -hmm. is that? Uh, Fifty one seven. When you when you talk about getting uh, bids for oh yep. for propane and things like that, yep. you you'll notice we only use a thousand a thousand dollars. Yeah, you know, it's not a big you item. Don't, it's not. I didn't know. Yeah, you're, I was, yeah, yeah, I was using that as an example of aggregate. <laughs> right. It, where you do use a lot of it's diesel fuel, so. Yeah, yeah. And that would count in a, yeah. in, in, like with somebody like Irvin, it's the total volumes actually add up. With, say, you use a lot of, sure, you use a lot of fuel. Oil. So, when, yeah, so you, when you buy bulk, your bulk price is based on the aggregate of those. Mm -hmm. So that gets yeah. you into a much lower price yeah. category. Yeah. So that's where that can help you. Yeah. yeah. You don't burn enough propane to say so, but no. that's yeah. what diesel fuel you do. Yeah. Did you increase vehicle repairs on the I-5400 for yeah. any particular reason? The, the, the vehicles are right. getting older. Mm -hmm. uh, we, uh, our cool pickup noise. is 10 years old. Uh, the uh, ambulance four. Mm -hmm. uh, there's issues with that. There's issues with engine four. Engine four. Our is, engines are all ten. Engine four, according to your capital. Uh, I mean, I don't know, but is it end of life? Is it has it? It's end of life. Right. Right. Yeah, it is. So, <laughs> but until, I see until you're putting money aside back through twenty seven. Well, until right. the new, until the new one comes in. Yeah. Right. Um, you got to keep. You got to maintain that truck. Yeah. Mm -hmm. It's got to be. It's got to be able to be up so to date. So a new one is that the one that we a new one's been ordered, and we is that the new one that we that will yeah, that's 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 the one that, that will replace engine. You and East Palm Fire have agreed to two hundred thousand, yeah. and the and the fire department two hundred and fifty thousand. Well, when right. is it coming in? Do you think? Still in like the making. Maybe another right. year. Maybe yeah. another wow. year. Yeah. 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 yeah, I mean they're just so far behind at all yeah. these places. Yeah. It's unbelievable. Yeah. Yeah. I do have one other question, and this is no offense to anybody from East Montclair. Is it to offense from Callis? It's not offense from Callis. Okay. Just checking. Are you going to be offended? I might be. <laughs> <laughs> East Montpelier, the town of East Montpelier uses part of Station 1 to park trucks or something. Is that true? Uh, what, our About truck? half the building up there, I believe, they use for... With the grader, I think they park the grader in there. Is this building I one? I think. This building. Is this is two. building two. Yes. Building, building one's up building on the one hill. Is the old station, which you probably yeah. haven't seen. Yeah. So I guess I just wondered: does, does East Montpelier pay an annual rental kind of fee, or is it just being nice, or how does that work? <laughs> that I think is a question for Toby. What the complete financial, or maybe you know. I would of know. the, yeah. of what the agreement, whether they <laughs> pay the just water. electricity for it, mm -hmm. all the electricity, or, or, all the heat or something, something. I don't know. It's a good question, and I think it's got to be between, I think the two select boards say, mm -hmm. you know, what's fair. You guys, yeah, what's fair is fair, you know, and just say, you know, well, East Montpelier is using Judas, half Judas of the building. Yeah. And Judith, mm -hmm. we have a question. Yeah. Okay. So, so what I'm hearing yeah, you I saying. Do. If I'm not, correct me if I'm wrong, so I, so I can be clear on it. 
the part that the town is using uh, for their trucks, mm -hmm. you're, you're suggesting that your fees, your your money is going into heating that side, lighting that electricity. I'm just curious. I mean, I you know it's probably not it's not a big deal. It's probably not a lot of money. I was just curious if there was some kind of written arrangement that you you spent pity or. There, is, there has been an ag agreement that was made when, when they took over half that. I remember but, when it But happened. as far as what, how Callus comes into it, I do not know. I don't, yeah, I was just was I don't, I don't know what the, the arrangement yeah. East Montpelier has with yeah. Callus on. Well, it's just a question to yeah. put out there that if somebody has a chance yeah. to check. Well, actually, it doesn't even really implicate us. You know, it implicates us, but if you're giving it to them for free, and we're, and then we're subsidizing it. Right. Mm -hmm. If they're giving, if you're giving it to them in return for something, then we're not subsidizing. Right. But we're all benefiting. It's, we're all right. benefiting in front of Right. It's use. not, you know, but trying you know. to nickel and dime. <coughs> I was just yeah. curious. No, if no. He, he's right. right. If if East Montpelier is paying the heat for the building and the lights for the building, it might be a wash. <coughs> be a wash. They're wash. using half the building, but right. they're paying the heat and the lighting, and we're using it for the fire trucks. And it's a benefit to East Montpelier and Callis. Yeah. Right. But for right. that, but I don't know the agreement that okay. Ty and Toby has with the town of East Montpelier. Okay. And, well, and that's a good question. Well, we are getting benefit out of it too. That that would concern me. I mean, are we? Yeah. Are we yeah. being fair in it? So, as Callis. Yeah. I don't. I don't good. remember. Well, yeah, because we, we we park our trucks yeah. in half. Yeah. Right. Yeah. But you're talking right. about the other half. Yeah, they have. Right. The, yeah. I remember, yeah, you know, I remember oh, years, I ago, years yeah. ago, yeah. I think Mike Guerin was still on the select board at the time, um, that that agreement happened, but I could never remember what the agreement was. That yeah. I know that there's no money exchange. Okay. Right. We, we don't get money from the town. Yeah. Well, maybe they the, paid, maybe they specifically paid the, for the yeah. use of the, that happened. It didn't happen way back with Mike Guerin. It only happened since Ty and Toby. It hasn't happened that far back. Hmm. I know well, Mike was there. Mike, yeah, Mike was, was there. in the agreement when, yeah. when 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 the town that. used half. Yeah. I was just yeah. saying, you know, maybe so. maybe oh. you know. Oh, Mike Guerin was. I'm sorry. Yeah. I'm Mike sorry. Yes. Yeah. You Mike know, Garin. just thinking yes. like, you know, for. I was thinking as chief for no, building Mike one. You know, if the diesel is. You know, what what is the cost to heat the place? Who's kind of paying for it? Is it? Well, we got thirty five hundred dollars down to heat it. Yeah. So your okay. Pay is good. So, anyways, maybe yeah. you just check on that. Because it's going from 3500 to 6000 in the heat and oil for Station 1. And that got back to my original question about getting, you know, going and doing some heating oil shopping. So that's so it. it that, so I understand it, that that's the question is that half of the building. Yeah, right. right. Yeah. Okay. okay. That's a fair question. That is a fair question. I, I, well, and, and if he's smart, Kelly was giving it to you for free. Actually, I mean, then essentially it's it's in a way it's probably mm -hmm. a wash. Mm -hmm. You're not paying no rent, you're paying heat. I mean callous no, if yep. you were paying rent you'd be paying half of that. So oh, yeah, they, no we're not paying rent. So. No we're not being charged. No, I got it. I'm not sure you know. so. Well, that's what I thought. Oh, is that it does yeah. fire I think the fire department holds <laughs> yeah. the building. Yeah. Oh. And then there's also a question well the fire department is part of the town, so technically the town owns it. So it, yeah. I don't. I, it the fire department. I always thought owned it, but if we went to funk tomorrow, mm -hmm. you know, the town's going to have the key for everything. Right. Right. That's why I, I look at. So. Yeah. That's why I look at. So you can just sit there and talk. It's a very good keep question. Going in circles. Yeah. I, I, I'd like, like to know the answer to what what because I I, I want to be fair to yeah. you guys as well yeah. as yeah. you know the yeah. cost and fair to us as they're using yeah. it and fair to the budget. And I I understand your yeah. point of view. Yeah. Thank you. Yeah. I don't think I have any other questions. Yeah. I know you guys. <clears throat> no, you guys yeah. have something you want to talk yeah. about, yeah. including the salary yeah. line. Yeah. So, so we're, Sandy and I are going to both start on um, to talk about this. Um, you, you notice, you, you did notice that the uh, the budget for salary uh, was three hundred forty-eight. Mm -hmm. which is the same as the period that we're in right now right. versus the year prior. Mm -hmm. it's, it's been the same. Through, through the years, everybody knows that we've been trying to build it up, build it up, build it up, so that we can go uh, full staff 24-7, uh, two people on 24-7. Two, yeah. two paid. Yeah, 24-7. So we've been working at trying to get 
a full staffing level. When you say staff, is that ambulance or is that fire? Just, no, just ambulance. ambulance. This is, we're just, just, just talking ambulance. ambulance. So we've been working, we're trying to get get our staffing up to full level, and that's what that's been going on now, not just at these two years. I'm talking probably a couple of fiscal years before that. We've been increasing it, increasing it, increasing it to get to full staffing. It's not a secret today that staffing in the EMS field is hurt. It's hurt. It's hurt. Yep. Uh, even even the full time Barry cities and the in the Montgomery's, they're hurting. Um, the world has to get, a, to get the world has a huge the world yeah. has a huge app add yeah. in there for EMTs or Barry Barry Town or Barry City. I yeah. forget which. Well, Barry Town. Everybody. Too. So we're all, everybody's in this thing together where mm -hmm. just the people are not out there. Right. So. By in saying that, we are not anywhere, we are not at full stacking. And that's yeah. why you see the 293. I'm trying to get to where you're We're trying to get I mean, up I, there. So I, full stacking would be this 348. 348. Okay. We're not there. Mm -hmm. And what's my, missing? What's what's what position does that represent? Position. So, In I, other words, the difference of Fifty thousand bucks. Yeah, how many, F, is it how many FTEs? What is it's, that? It's the amount of empty shifts. Uh, uh, not, no, not empty shifts. Amount of instead of having two people on, you're gonna have one person on on several of these shifts. Okay. Mm -hmm. Now, when so, you, you have seventeen thousand right? hours okay. of okay. shifts. Okay, they're not all being filled by two people. Mm -hmm. You may have one person, and, then and it's not a call. secret. There's gonna be some when there's no nobody here. It's. It's not through, a the, through the night. It's we might not, not have two people here. Yeah. Not to say we're going to drop that call means that two people are coming from home to do it. Mm -hmm. We're Slow not response. staffed as two people right. in this building. Okay. Now, when you say staff, is this per diem? Is this hourly so this that is, they get benefits? No. No, okay. so no. This is no benefits. No benefits. Okay. It's all, all per diem. It's all okay. per diem. That makes a difference. Right. Okay. So with that being said. What do you pay for per diem? I can give well, you let, those. Let me get into that. You're okay. getting ahead of me. Okay. You're getting ahead. Sorry. Um, the Sandy is going to be able to talk better on why this has come up, why this uh, this whole issue has come up about the um, uh, staffing, why we're losing people, why we're not getting people, and we talked the other day about uh, losing. Uh, we don't want to lose the people that are stuck by us. Okay, when you say we, do you mean the board? The fire department. The fire department the fire board department. or the whole membership? The, well, the, I guess the board, the membership. Don't want to lose here. our per diem people. Yeah. Right. Right. We, right. we don't want to lose any more than what we already got because we're hanging yeah. on mm -hmm. with right. a good minimum number of people. Yeah. We want to keep them here and keep them happy. Can, can we, I'm sorry, I'm going to just ask if we can step back maybe just a little bit historically. I remember a conversation not too long ago, I think we were having the same conversation around shifting from the volunteers to more and more per, per diems. That's what, that's what the full staffing was about. Right. Yes. Because so, the volunteers are the same as the, as the EMS people, they're I just not there. Well, they're nobody okay, there. It's a volu I, under I understand that they do the same job, is what you're saying, right? They do the same job when they're here, whether they're a per diem and you're paid or you're a volunteer. You're doing... You're, you're being an EMS person one way or another. Fire yeah, volunteer. for the for the most part, yeah. for EMS, yes. For our purposes of this discussion. Yes. And so a few years ago, it was a, a, a transition to be thinking more about paid per diems, right? Am I right? Yeah, that's Am I right. this correctly? Yeah. And that was like a, oh, we, we're not getting many volunteers, so we should, as we have historically now, we need to be talking about paid per diems mm -hmm. more, and now we're going, now we're, now paid per diems are scarce, is what you're saying. Is that where we are? They are. Yeah. No, I believe you. I'm just trying to. Yeah, I'm just no, trying to put I in mean, a bigger context the mm -hmm. and make sure I'm understanding the arc of the of the yeah. of the story here. When, there is. when yeah. this, when I first got on the board and we were doing the fire department ambulance, I mean the fire department didn't even have an ambulance at the, yeah. then. You know, it was when we got, the ambulance got started up. It was strictly volunteer. Nobody got paid. And then it changed because of staffing shortages. Even years, some years ago, to some high pay, high, yeah, some. Uh, that's relatively recent because yeah. in my 
classified passive Well, we were a fast squad back then. Right. We are a fast squad. We didn't have, we were a transporting agency. Right. Right. And so now, and now, now it's we're evolved into, you know, a really wonderful EMS or EMT. Yeah. You know, or paramedics. Product, paramedics yeah. that, that we now have. Right. So that's kind of the evolution. Yeah. And now what you're saying is you can't even get, you can't get volunteers for one thing, and it's even harder, it's harder to get volunteers, and it's hard to get per diem people, right? Well, we want, we want to send the message that we want to hang on to the ones we have. Mm -hmm. We know right now Hardwick's got an advertisement out there looking for them. Barrytown's got advertisement out there looking for them. We just lost a gentleman called Greg Hayden to Barry City, who's been doing lots of shifts here. We, we know Barry City, Barry Town, uh, Montpelier. They're all Waterbury. They're all looking to hire these folks. No doubt. And you haven't heard the end of our speech yet that we want to give our people a little bit of a raise to give them an incentive to stay. They haven't had a raise since they've started. They've been staying at the same pay scale. Same for you. And what we probably failed to do is give them 10 cents a year, 25 cents a year, 10 <laughs> cents a year. Mm -hmm. And that's how the progressive... But now we're seeing our guys getting the same amount of money they've got for the last 10 years and they could go elsewhere for making maybe a dollar, maybe two dollars more an hour with benefits. So are you, let me clarify something. <clears throat> the 348 uh -huh. represents full staffing. Mm -hmm. Yes. It doesn't represent full staffing plus a raise. No, 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 it so doesn't. So you'd no. like to increase this number? No. No, no. what do you no, want to no, do? Like, this is my Or do you want to use the money? So, this you is want to use your Let's hear it. Let's hear it. Okay. So, with, with what Sandy said, we really, we, we're really, because you can't meet that full staff. And mm -hmm. with the money that's in the budget, we want to keep them here uh, because it, it's a big talk now because we haven't been getting the raises. Mm -hmm. what, what we're proposing is that we will pay out of this, our budget, that right now, this $348,000 budget we mm -hmm. have, we will give a, we will give a uh, increased, stipend increase, not stipend, pay raise, per pay, raise. Per pay, per diem, per pay diem. raise, mm -hmm. out of that money mm -hmm. for the next, uh, for the, uh, until the end of our fiscal period, which is June. June. Right, June 30th okay. of fiscal year 23. Yeah. And, and the way that that works out, and this is gonna get into the hourly stuff, Okay, the way it works out, we have an EMR, uh, a, a EMTB. Could you just give us yep. what that acronym stands yep. for? Thank you. Emergency Medical Responder, mm -hmm. which is the starting um, entry level, is that what the entry level right. person? Certified. Is that first responder? So, we don't have first responder. So, so that is like a first oh, responder is. Is it? Okay. in their license. I'm an EMR. So in order to do billing, you have to have two certified people in order for Medicare, Medicaid to pay. Okay. So an EMR is a certified, I'm a certified licensed through the state and federally so that I can run medical calls to help our EMT or our paramedic so that we can collect, collect on it. Okay. And that's what an EMR okay. is. So that's what you are, okay. okay. Yeah. And okay. EMT. Yeah, so now the, the basic EMT, it right now, currently, was it, is at fifteen dollars an hour. Yeah, yeah. The, both both of those oh, EMRs so and the EMTs. Are I, thought, $15. I thought when you talked about per diem, it was like you work a shift, you get two hundred and fifty bucks. No, 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 no. no, no. no. Oh, don't, okay. don't say that. Don't, don't. <laughs> per, diem, will be per diem means that they're paid for a sh they're paid for the day. Here, we're, yeah. we're bringing you in for a shift. Yeah, right. A shift, yeah. and yeah. you get they so much per hour. They're not yeah. employees. They're not getting right. benefits. There are no okay, benefits. So we don't pay no benefits. Yeah. No EMT vacation time, EMT. nothing. Mm -hmm. Yeah. He gets paid how much? Fifteen dollars. Per hour. Per hour, yeah. Fifteen. And that's your entry level, right? Yeah. Those those two are entry levels. Okay. okay. EMTA is being paid at eighteen dollars an hour. And a paramedic is being paid at twenty. Okay. Okay. Okay, now to explain. I think that there's something where, like, 
in order for you to go out on a call, doesn't one of these other have to go with? Oh yeah, yeah. Well, there's always two. two. There right, but two. does it? But so there couldn't be just like two, two EMRs. Two, no, two EMRs. They can't because he's the only no. one. Oh. Yeah, but, oh, okay. No. Well, it's the same there was more. And, <laughs> and different levels can do different interventions. Right. Mm -hmm. So if I go out with a paramedic, we are in great shape. That paramedic can do mm -hmm. anything. But if I go out with an EMT, they just a plain EMT, they can't start an IV. Right. So That's a EMT is starting an IV. There's different levels of what they can do. Mm -hmm. I don't do anything except handing needles over, gauzes, help wrap and stuff, and do different. But to actually drug or so, I don't even think I can. I so can how, do glucose. So I don't is, think I can do so glucose. So is Sandy? Do you get? Are you oh, I'm paid fifteen dollars, or an hour if I'm here, okay, that's what or eighteen dollars per call. Or no, no, I think it's still fifteen dollars. If I'm at home, mm -hmm. and we only have one person on staff, and I get a call. That call can last three hours. I only get a a per call rate, a one call rate That's it? of 15, I think it's $15. 18. So you would like or 18, to, you $18. Would like to well, hang on, before we go there, can we just, I want to, sorry, Mark, I want to just um, clarify the no benefits point. Uh, right. So I understand no benefits, no paid vacation, no health insurance, probably. No overtime. No overtime. Until but, they reach a certain amount, which is way over 40, yeah. That's where I was going. Uh -huh. So it, it, how likely is it in, that an individual, a particular person, is working, let's, I'm more than 40, okay, but um, even more than 30 hours a week, such that they might be considered something, or more than 20 hours a week, something such that they might be considered there's probably three of them More. that are working over. Oh. Yeah, you're getting it. There's some kind of law, right? Well, no, Those. but are you, not even that, but just just so that people understand, you know, sometimes we hear, I don't get any benefits, um, and then it's like, oh, but you work 15 hours a week. Like, that's not a position that was really designed to be a benefits position. So I just want to understand how many people who, how many people are working for this organization, let's say more than 30 hours a week? Probably three of them, probably. Three, three or four. And, and four you being one, four of them out of uh, maybe 10 to 12. So, so, 12 you have, of them. so you have 10 to 12. Well, why don't you can, before we go into that, <coughs> continue just, on with what you're saying. Well, yeah. I just, no, it's, it's, there's saying. a difference between people who work 30 to 40 hours a week or more yeah. and don't get any benefits, yeah. and people who work 10, 15, even 20 hours a week who are doing, who, who, who very much take a part-time job with that expectation. I got a part-time job. It's great. I get, it gets me out of the house. I get to serve my com community. I don't expect benefits but sometimes yeah sometimes I have heard people complain about not having benefits when the backstory is they're working 10 or 15 hours a week and, and, and yeah. I don't necessarily it was news to me that a person working 10 or 15 hours a week would ex would expect or be grumpy about not getting benefits so that's a new world if that's so, where we are so they probably aren't but it's those ones that are working 35 that's hours a week. Yeah. And it's yeah. probably those four people mm -hmm. that deserve a pay raise. Mm -hmm. And how do you give a pay raise to those people with their, with their title of, say, they're an EMT, right. and then there's someone else is an EMT, and they only put in 15 hours a week. Sure. Can you justify that one that's putting in 30 hours? So we have to do the pay raise across the board. Well, I'm talking about benefits. Just so, that point you made, Sandy, of no benefits. So benefits is stated that why I'm saying benefits is we're going to lose these people to the city of Barrie. Because they have benefits. Because they have benefits and they're short by, well. Wait a minute. You bring up benefits. Uh, Sandy, we brought, just Sandy, the door. Sandy brought up benefits. Yes. <laughs> yeah. So, so I'm saying that they may be only putting in 30. If they put in another 10 hours and they're working for Barrie City, they're getting benefits. No, I get it. And, and, but, and we're not offering that even for people working over 30. Right. I think it's it's too, it's, I just want to be clear when we say people don't get benefits, 
that a lot of people who aren't getting benefits are not right now working at the number of hours that in, an, in most people's minds would qualify and make you eligible for the organization or the employer's benefits. And that's, that's a different conversation. And it's a change of the model, really, right. to mm -hmm. say what we want to do is be working with, you know, instead of however many um, per diems, we actually want to build a full time with overtime within reason because safety yeah. becomes an issue, full-time staff with benefits be a reliable employer. Yeah. But I understand we're not there yet. I, I just want to just get to the right. right. No, 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 no but people say... People change pay rates based on different defined jobs. I'm asking Judith because it's a labor Fine. Do you guys have a What's proposal? The They're not bargaining. What? This what is, is not their proposal. Not can we guys, can we get to their proposal yeah, so we can react to it? What is your proposal? <laughs> Okay. Thank you for clarifying yeah. that three or four people work more than 30 hours. Okay. 30 hours yeah, it may be more than four people. I don't have the numbers. Whatever. It's, it's not everybody who works it's, more it's than It's not. Yeah. But in saying that, those people that might be working 15 hours might turn around and work 20 hours okay. or 25 hours because of the pay might be a little bit better here than pick up a per diem job at Stowe. Right. Because so, we're paying a little bit more. I, I, so, I, yes, I so, wanted a clarification on benefits, and I agree we should turn to the proposal around yeah. seven. Okay. Let's, okay. Get, let's so, get to the bottom line here. So, what, what we're saying, I gave you the, the rates. Right. Yep. Okay, have you, yep. we know it, it hasn't been, it's been many years. Mm -hmm. So, what we are proposing is that in our budget, the $348,000 budget, for the uh, beginning January 1st until the end of the fiscal period, this June 30th, yeah. that we will that we will provide an increase for these people at seven and a half percent. And we're going to use what we are not spending in that budget because of, because we can't fill those ships. Mm -hmm. So we're kind of concentrating mm -hmm. on keeping the people we got. Right. So you're not going to go over budget mm -hmm. because you don't have enough people to go over. So budget. Toby right. has given me it's not seven and a half percent, but he, he wrote down a dollar fifty um, increase. Very similar to what I'm talking about, but it's not exact. Okay. Mm -hmm. And so we would be needing to come up with twenty one thousand dollars. Twenty one thousand more. Twenty one thousand four twenty one five in that range. To come up for the rest of the fiscal. To right. Make, the, yeah. For us to pay that increase from January first sure. through the, 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 the right. June thirtieth. So yeah. you mean right. twenty one five in addition to the 348? No. So, no, no, it's coming out of that. No, it's, 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 it's coming out of our budget right now. We, we, we can handle, we can handle that, that, that's, uh, that amount of money. So the 348 okay. covers it beyond that point to retain it, I take it. Yeah, so the next year, the fiscal year, the full fiscal year after that, which, mm -hmm. is, which is what the proposal is to keep yep. it at 348, that we think because the first time I just said is six months. Yeah. Mm -hmm. It's not twenty one thousand. It's half that. Okay. Because oh, it's only this, six okay, months. This would be right. So, so it's forty. Yeah. Yeah. So, so the next fiscal year, it's to cover that. We can we can cover that twenty one five again. Mm -hmm. So we'll be able to cover that within the three forty six, mm -hmm. the three forty eight budget, and still be even if we had more people coming in to fill in some more shifts, we think that we can still handle it. So can I just FY23 this fiscal year that we're in, it would be half of this 21.5. Right. Yeah, because it's only six months. Right. Okay. So half of that is. Yeah. And we can handle it for the fiscal fiscal year after that. At that 348. Mm -hmm. Now this is where the change is coming in. Because they because the increases have not been coming every year, what we are asking to increase the budget for the next fiscal year, the uh, five five percent for FY twenty four. Yeah, uh, to give the five percent raise on top of by seven point five. Wait, wait a minute. You, you so it, we, we would we would continue to pay we would continue to pay that increase the seven and a half percent into the end of the fiscal year. So this would be for FY twenty three. And then FY twenty four. The whole year. It would be the seven point five. Yeah, percent that, that plus, we are taking care of plus five percent, and we're asking you guys to add five percent. So, so, so you're, so we're, we're actually asking, asking the, we're 
spreading the rays for that right. here. You're covering. We're covering. This right. is to bring. This is to kind of bring this to a parity, so we don't lose. Yeah. So it'd be the 7.5 yeah. plus the five, and the five percent you're asking from the towns. Right. Okay. So we're going to need to increase the budget. So uh, that 340, that 348 is not covering everything. It's going to go up. So, so it's 348. It's actually, I can tell you what it's going to okay. go up. Okay. It's a product. I get it. We've got to run these numbers closer, mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. but it's going to. Your part would probably be about fourteen thousand five hundred dollars. Total. Yep. So it'd be fourteen thousand for Callus or for both? For, for the combined. Combined. The combined. Oh. So and that will give a, another five percent raise July first. Another five percent raise. So right. okay, I'm sorry for being such a dunce. Here. 15, no, I get it. But it'd be it's twelve and a half. Is that total. Gonna, twelve and a half percent. So is that gonna bump the salary line up from three forty eight? Yeah, by, by fifteen, by say fifteen thousand. Okay. By, by like that's um, what it. All right. So fourteen or fifteen. Well, what is? It, it's Roughly not exact. Right. Because right. yeah, I did percentages here. Toby did one hour raise. Yeah, right. So it's not exact. Yeah. Okay. It's not exact. So when the budget yeah. is redone, what it will show is the last line, the fiscal year twenty-four, is going to be three forty-eight plus. It, it I would say 14,000. Yeah. Yeah. yeah, so it's going it to be, be in that range. Whatever right, that is. To 15, okay. 000, yeah. And what you're saying is breaking it down, you're proposing that you guys are going to cover a 7.5% raise for the last six months of the fiscal year that we're in. Yep. And then you guys will keep that 7.5% paying the 7.5%. Right. So, so in we're addition, at, right. we will pay the two towns 5% more. Which is fourteen thousand bucks. Is that so? The is the twenty one thousand extra the global of what you're going to do for FY twenty four, and then the towns contribute fifteen thousand of that. No, I'm trying to no, no. It's, what? it's the it's twenty three. It's it's going to be twenty. Yeah, it's going to be it's extra. That that's why the three forty eight. They're saying that they can absorb their share of the raise. Which is the 21.5. The 21.5. They can absorb it in the 348 and maybe even still increase the number of hours. That's right. enough. <coughs> what they can't absorb is, is a 5% in addition to the 7.5%. Right. And that 5% would comes out to 14,000 for between the two towns. So do we look, look, you know, looking ahead, because we probably want to build some kind of I mean, we've been running into this with road crews and everything else, so we completely understand, you know, this to keep this competitive, that we would probably standardize this somewhat. I don't know, maybe not. Maybe it's we have to watch the mm -hmm. year, but we're that's just going to be an ongoing. So will you yeah. so will you send us a new? <coughs> yeah, I'll have Toby run the uh, the exact figures because yeah. because that includes uh, all of the taxes and workers' comp, all of that stuff is in that. Say fourteen to fifteen thousand. Yeah, yeah. It's all in there. Yeah, it's not all salary. It's so not just salary. Guys, yeah. how do you feel? Do you have any like this, expectation this, going this, forward? This, 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 because you haven't had increases this, for a while, this, this, anticipating that every X number of years we're going to give a cost of living increase or you know, is there just similar to what we've been talking about in terms you of know, trends? You know, in terms of our planning, anticipating that, well, now they're going to be more competitive. They recognize that there, you know, a lot of people out there, a lot of municipalities need skilled, trained um, EMTs, and we want to keep ours. Mm -hmm. so if we want to keep them, we can't just throw them a bone one year. We have to make sure that right. they continue to feel valued. So every year, yeah. give so them like 10 cents more an well, hour. I mean, or something to gradually. Right. And it's not such hurt all at yeah. once. Yeah, right. you're smart. this is. Have a, yeah, yeah, it's going to be a, a, a program set up, or not a program, but every well, year <laughs> or every other year. Is well, this helps us if we're able yeah. to well, kind of sell it. Yeah. We, we talk to the townspeople, you know, because when people ask questions in town meeting, that gives us something. Look, they said this is completely reasonable if we want to have this service. Yeah, you know, we've got yeah. to be competitive. We have to be able to order staff. We do know we've fought this battle with the crew so you know they all and this is a nice way of making the expense increase predictable yeah. so yeah i think what you're hearing from us, yeah, exactly. all we're, us i think we're if fine you want it. a reaction from us you got well we're hoping because i i definitely i, I do want to get you the exact 
Yeah, yeah. yeah. That's right. I think yeah. what you're hearing yeah. is yeah. concept. Yeah. Completely. Yeah. Completely. Yeah. 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 We're okay with this. We're giving yeah. it a new life. Yeah. Yeah. I think it's smart. It's a, good, yeah. there, you know, it's a valuable service. Yeah. Right. I mean, it really is. is. Yeah. yeah. And it, yeah, yeah. Denise said we're you know we're going to do this. So the other thing that I don't want to do until you guys actually both towns, I guess, mm -hmm. is I don't want to put it out that these guys are going to getting be getting a five percent raise in July first. Well, it has to be until the you guys well, until the it gets all voted through the town. Right. I so I kind of want to keep it on the down low. Sure. Yeah. Right. So it doesn't. Put the camera down. on. Right. <laughs> right. Yeah. Yeah. That's yeah. right. Right. Well, but I think we won't tell, that. We won't tell, tell anybody. anybody. We, we know the next one is that. based on voter oh, really? approval. Yeah. Yeah. yeah, exactly. I mean, we could ask for a million yeah. bucks, yeah. and you say, "Yeah, you'll get it," and the voters say, "No, you're not." Yeah. Right. Right. Everybody knows. Well, yeah, yeah, I think. I think that. I think it would be fair for you to. You're going to tell them they're getting the seven and a half. That should be huge. Yeah. Yeah. Yes. Right. Yeah, that's yes. how the budget. Now. And yes. and if people and if they say, well, we heard we're going to get another five percent. All you have to do is say, we propose that the select board members that okay. were present. Okay, that's up to the voters yeah. in, okay. do, in the new year. The boards have new to take budget. the budgets yeah. to the voters. That's yep. a better way than yep. like what I said. Right. <laughs> exactly. Right. 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 Yeah. Right. Okay. Yeah. Yeah. It's. Uh, yeah. yeah. So it wasn't as hard as you thought, was it? No. Well, it's. <laughs> it's uh. <laughs> I tell you, the last three or four nights, I wake up during the night looking at all these numbers that Toby gave me, you know, man, and then he won't be here. And, and, you did and Albert just come back from that that accident yeah. call, so he finally got here. You did a great job. Well, you, you did. did. You did. Well, well, you did. Did. I, I, I'm glad it's over. A very, <laughs> right, I bet. No, a very friendly approach. Well, thank you. Thank you. Hey, well, can I ask a question? Yes. Um, there was a meeting, I think, when you some of you guys came to tell the select board what was the context and there was some conversation about recruitment incentives mm -hmm. right um maybe offering a property tax alex brought it up oh uh, yes a yeah. property tax i, I also um, spoke on that at the meeting in here yes right yeah right. property tax <laughs> was it here okay a property yeah. tax <laughs> here. credit for people in our towns to sort of like the veterans mm -hmm. yeah. Yeah. sort of like the veterans but um so you use the word program yep have you guys given any more thought to something like that? Because I thought that was a fabulous idea. Well, it was a it was a great idea. So I, you and Alex yeah. brought it up, yeah. and it's on my list of things for tonight. Um, well, what and thing, what yeah. do we want? To, the only question I had is is the veterans exemption thing is that a law? There's a law, or can we as towns adopt? I'm asking my lawyer friends. Do we have there might be a law. Do we have to like put it in a charter or can we just pass a policy? I mean I don't know. I don't know. And there would have to be would have to be our list. You would at least need to have a charter change because municipalities don't have that right. I mean that's not the we can't charge different people, we can't credit different I, I, I don't think that's you know, under Dylan's law, I don't think that's one of you know, one of the uh, Rights that the legislature has, has so it would be a charter change, but you know, at a minimum, we could, we could, we could, I mean, if that's we're going to give someone a tax credit, that's just the same as writing a check. Yeah. That's right. Bonus. So I we could, we could, we could say if they said we would like to have a thousand uh, dollar incentive for someone, etc., and we approved it as part of the budget, then that would be that. Well, I don't know. I don't know. Do that. Well, but then you run into I don't know yeah, people have, only in our town versus yeah. no yeah. no that's what I'm saying yeah, is, is even if you can't do it uh -huh. let's say we can't do it we can do the equivalent by just telling them offer a bonus a hiring bonus it could be a callous mm -hmm. resident resin. well it could yeah. be a callous resident or it could not yeah I mean but you oh, have, I, you have, you do. I mean, yeah, I don't care that, where they come from. Oh, could the town of Callis yeah. offer a bonus well, to contribute our that own much residents part of our who serve mm -hmm. as, that might, yeah. uh, if we give a bonus to our own residents who serve X number of hours per year on the East Montpelier or Woodbury cruise, why couldn't we do that? We could do that. We just well, build we it into our budget right. and they... Yeah. And, and uh, we tell them yet it's the there. <laughs> but it comes out the same. It comes out the same. Right. And the would same. we have to put this on the warning? We'd have to put it in our budget that we are working yeah. on right now. We'd have to say, right. but we'll it, assume that we'd pay it three times. 
Well, so, no, my well, question is, does this have to be a warned item? It'd be part of our budget. That would be awesome to warn it, though, because that would create the buzz. Yeah, yeah we yes. could do it. We could warn it. I mean, I would think we would want to warn it, and not to yeah. put it in the budget. That's what I'm yeah. saying. I'm saying that's how you the ball. Yeah. They're getting buzz yeah. and good thing. Yeah, the yeah. buzz. That's yeah. a good thing. Okay. So how much of a tax credit are you looking at? Uh, yeah. well, we don't know. Well, yeah. it's it's maybe I want to move to Calais. I live in East Montpelier. I could move to Calais. Is it into town? No. Yeah. Right. Yeah. Yeah. The tax credit is so it, is much it, more complicated than the <laughs> have We're a just going to so, give so a So what is it you're looking at? Let's we'll say if you if we had a Calais tax resident who volunteers so many hours, whatever the hour, minimum hour that you said, if they volunteered that time or they worked that time, they would... Okay, we would cut them a check for it was a whatever it is, bucks, $500. Whatever that, whatever I think maybe what we, should, is, well, what we should do is go back yeah. as a board and develop so the questions do. that we want to ask you guys, which is how many people yeah, do ask. you have serving who live in the town of Callis, if you even yeah, know? Yeah, we can give that um, number. What yeah. number of hours on a monthly or annual mm -hmm. basis well, is, you, do you consider um, credible for you know, somebody who's really a contributing member of the crew, what number of hours would form a useful incentive? I don't know, the questions like that that we could ask you, you can answer them and that will help us develop a budget for such bonus. But I think what I heard from either Sandy or Alex was you have some kind of a guideline already. A stipend a, policy. A stipend policy, so maybe yeah. yours, you, could you give us, can we see your stipend policy? I'll we tell you what it. the stipend policy is and I think I have it. It's you have to attend 50% of the meetings. Now, meetings meaning meetings. member meetings. How many are there? Our, one a month. Our one a month okay. meeting. All other meetings are considered trainings. Okay, whether it's EMS or if it's fire. But okay, you have 50 to attend 50%. So that means if there's 12 a year. Well, we don't include December because we give out the stipend in November, mm -hmm. end of November. So we can only see it from January until November. Well, there's so, no bonus month. Yeah. So there's no, so there's no record of the year. December. So 50% okay. of the meetings, you'd qualify. But you also have to, to qualify, 50% of the trainings. So if you have four trainings a month in January, you have two in Jan in February, you got three, and you we add them all up, we know how many trainings there are. You have to make 50% of them. Say it's uh, you know 50 trainings, you have to make at least 25 of them, or you don't get a stipend so you because have to you be, do both. You both. Have to you have to make both criteria, criterions or whatever, to qualify for a stipend. But we, but it, when it came time to do this at the end of the fiscal year or whatever, if we decide to do this, you would have that information. We could get that information from you. Yeah, obviously you we can. have to. Yeah, so that, that would be Are yeah. we talking about when they're trying to hire new people? No, no. Them nothing to do. Anyone. This is nothing this to do with the volunteer. per diem people. Volunteer. This is, this is, this is the volunteer, volunteer firefighters. Volunteer firefighters and not volunteer EMS, right? Uh, Why not? Are there? Well, in a sense, you would, if you're, like, we have members, we have, we have, okay, I'm a member. Mm -hmm. If on a training night that they're doing truck checks, mm -hmm. but they have EMS training the same night, I'm going to be in the EMS training, mm -hmm. okay? I classify that as I'm here that night for training. I'm mm -hmm. counted as a training night even yeah. though I did not do fire. everybody. So we have because, one training list mm -hmm. and everybody gets checked right, off. Because whether, you have volunteer EMS people, right? Yeah. Yes, I guess you want to, you can say that, yeah. Okay. Yeah. Why don't we, we could keep it simple by starting with fire. Oh, well, fire? I don't, I, I, no. I, I, no. We should, let's, I don't we should talk about yeah. this. Yeah, right, we should talk about it. Yeah. So, so it, but, it, but mm -hmm. at the end of the day, mm -hmm. uh, the pre people, people that live in Calais, that volunteered here would be getting two checks. No. Just to, just to. Why yeah. would they be getting two checks? Because they would be getting it from us. The oh, stipend right. from us. Right, but that's sure. all right. right. Yeah, that's okay. Yeah, but, but we're looking it's to incentive, help. Right. We're looking right. for ways to help with incentives. And, and I would hope that East Montpelier okay. does the same. Mm -hmm. That they somehow put something in the policy very similar to yours or like mm -hmm. yours, so it's equal across the board for our East Montpelier I and Calais so, people. Yeah. What I like about that too is that this is the I don't kind know what happens thing. to the people that live in Plainfield well, and Marshfield that volunteer. 
Oh, they might follow the town. But the, they don't the, come out of our pool of money. Well, I think the thing there yeah. is that this also, they they the, you know, this is the kind of thing that can actually be make this a little more visible in the towns because. Oh, yeah. We might not see the stipends, but then at town meeting, we can put them in the yeah. town report, and we can put them Ooh. Yeah. In, Ooh. Yeah. in, you know, Recon when we do a presentation. Right. Yeah. Sure. And that's a, that's, we could actually give out the good checks thing. at town so, meeting. Correct. Ooh, we could yeah, we could. We yeah. Correct. Yeah. So, and I like, I mean, that may <laughs> yeah. help. Yeah. Yeah. You know, <laughs> it may help, right, feed the pool of volunteers. I, I don't think it would have a whole lot to do with East Spot Fire Fire, because I think you only got one member. Yeah, but this right might now, but the whole idea is to incentivize, and we would do it for Woodbury too. Right, yeah, sure, sure. we do. Yeah. Yeah. Right, you had it all the time across the board. If it was, yeah. Do you yeah. say so you guys like that idea? We do, oh, yeah. we do. Whatever well, you can do for people to help us <laughs> retain and well, get new members. Don't tell anybody because we haven't really sorted it out. We right. have yeah. details yet. Right. No, no one's going to know. Well, except that they watch. Is there anything that you need from us? Tonight, that you Mark's tired. He's had a long day. Um, no, because it was Albert what I, what I brought out is Albert's got some boat. information that yeah. he wants to share. Not information. Oh. I just had a question about getting back to how Callis would think about doing this. Where would they funnel the money to us? No, to the checks would come to, from us. Okay. okay. Yeah. And we would do them, the idea: do them at town meeting, take photos, put them in the next year's town report. Yep. You know, let's. Mm -hmm. I think we should get a photo for this year's town report. Okay. Yeah, we should. I think that this really is an opportunity to show yeah. that relationship between the town, yep. and the fire department, and the people. Well, thank yeah. you. Yeah, no, it this helps build you. the relationship all the way around. Yep, that's just what. And we're going to yep. do the same for Woodbury, just yep. so it's on record. Thank you. Yep. Pretty much all the EMS folks, mm -hmm. when they respond to a call, mm -hmm. they receive a minimum amount. It's like a per call thing. It's eighteen dollars or whatever. Right. Right. So, right. but the people on staff get paid by the hour. Right. So they, if that call takes three hours, they're they're getting get paid eight, the whole you only three. get eighteen bucks. Eighteen dollars. Right. Right. You work cheap. So I'm better off doing shifts here. I'm retired. Mm -hmm. I did four calls today. I punched in. I did four calls. You four did calls. Four calls. Wow. Yeah, and this yeah. is a really. Busy time of year with the aging population, and anyway, so are you, do you have anything else? Wait, no. I, I want to ask one more question. Your stipend policy ties to meetings and trainings. How do you, how do you then um, loop in actually serving? So we're talking about people who are volunteers. Um, they go on vacation. They work. How do you? You mean the number of calls? Yeah, like number of calls or shifts that you're available or whatever. Is that's, that's, not part of the stipend? What, well, that's not part of your stipend? Not now. No. This time, no. It's kind of hard to track how many Brad Nut Brown does, for instance, a good hired firefighter, how many calls he goes on, because we aren't punching clocks and mm -hmm. stuff. And you're showing up from mm -hmm. home. And showing up from home. Mm -hmm. Where a meeting night, we have a roster you check in. And on a work night, we have a roster, and we're checking them off. We, we check in we, for calls, too. But yeah. because calls happen 24-7, mm -hmm. like yeah. you said, you, you never know where people are. Can mm -hmm. they, are they available to respond? We didn't feel like it was fair to penalize them for that when. Right, because they, they have a job. And they but at least the, the Tuesday nights, you, you try and make that your free night to say, I'm yeah. committed to firehouse. I'm going there for training mm -hmm. and meetings. And, and, it, and it follows her. It follows that if people show up for trainings and show up for right, meetings, they're going to show up for they will calls. show up for calls if they're available. Yeah. We're open. Yeah. And uh, yeah. you know, honestly, too, to even if to they're me. people, and that's I mean, that's very accurate too. Really, yeah. The folks, there are a few that come to meetings, but and don't come as many calls. But for the most part, the ones that come to training. And work right. nights come to calls. Right. So, right. so we, we, we can just ask you every, <clears throat> whenever we decide to do this, we can just ask you to confirm who should get this, right? Right. Well, I want to say this so too. We don't, you know, the whole goal of this too <clears throat> is to really build membership and participation. Right. Mm -hmm. So even the people that don't get it, it may be that if we even just honor 
they yeah. acknowledge those people in mm -hmm. something like a town meeting. So That's true. Thank you for your service. These yep. people are standing up. They've done, mm -hmm. you know, X number of calls roughly. Yep. And, you know, for the people to know that and then see right. some getting yep. rewarded because they yep. put in more, yep. that that could be a pretty right. effective. Yeah. So, so what are your things you need to look at that is a negative aspect of it? Mm -hmm. Is somebody that puts in, comes out to be 47%. And not 50 percent yeah we might have to have yeah. a little wiggle so, room right as you maybe do too um i don't think so um, i mean if, if the numbers are such that 47 percent is a thing then don't be 47 be 60. well and the thing well, is well no it's just that a, 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 one of our members um came in at 47 percent mm -hmm. uh, but did other things okay but well, did a lot of other things so so but, but he eliminated like that. that person um because he didn't meet it Right, but, well, you could, but, but you could but tell he would us have that. on this side over here because he did a lot of extra stuff. But you could say, but he came to all the calls. Did or you, you, yes. could, or, you, or you could say, that. or what's that? Did you give him a statement? No, no. But we, we don't. No. But we could be having a little wiggle room no, if no, somebody no. did a lot of extra. I, I turned it down. Honestly, we don't have. To, there's no reason we. There's no <laughs> oh, reason so I, I turned it down because yeah. I did not want to get caught into that. Yeah. Right. Into that well, there's problem. no reason we would necessarily have to use your fifty percent. Mm -hmm. Right. We could say thirty percent. Whatever. Right. That yeah. Number. Whatever you right. come up with. Right. Yeah, I just wanted to your policy. Is that. Your policy. Seeing that, that they have reasonable training. Yeah. Well, they do. Right. Yeah. Yeah. I'm yeah. just saying. Well, we can. Well, you know what? We need to talk about this more. Right. At at another date because I think everybody's done. Yeah. But when I'm gone, though, five months of the year. That's why I'm. That's why it was a, I didn't make it. Our policy also says that. that the board has no uh, authority to I said, don't, waive I don't want it. given to the sergeant. Like if board. the guy's active duty right. military, yeah. then he's away for five months, yeah. right. then right. he shows up and makes all yes. of it, but yeah. it's short, yeah. we're not going to yeah, penalize you can, you right. can have, so there's discretion. So the board does yeah. have discretion. Yeah. One last question. Yeah, this is, would be for the prior fiscal, correct? Because like we, you won't have a year. They won't have the hours in a current fiscal if you follow me, I mean, we're, we'd be budgeting for the next year. That's where or the money. I mean, when we award this at a town meeting, we still don't have current fiscal numbers. It would numbers. be it would, it would be fiscal twenty three. Like so if we get be, up in if we get up in twenty three and give people awards, it would be for twenty two. It, it would be for twenty two. You know, for us, for us, it's half and half. That's your prior right. year. Right. Yeah. 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 Right. Unless All right. you went well, on a but we can we, we can talk about order. this more and figure it out. In more detail. Detail. Yeah, so, okay. so I'm going to uh, get a hold of Toby to run those numbers for me. Right. So the exact number. Yeah, and all the trends and all the trends. Yeah. And yes, I'll, I'll have them. We'll, we'll, that may take a while, but we'll work on that. Okay. okay. And and I'll see if, you have, if you could email to all of us. Yep. Now, I did get your email about sending it to everybody. I don't have everybody's email. That's why I didn't do it. That was me. Oh, that was you. Yeah, I don't have everybody's. Well, I got well, Denise's. You probably you have mine and Sharon's, yours. I think, right? They're, they're online now. Yeah. yeah. Okay. Just okay. Send we'll, it to well, okay. no, I'll re yeah, nice. if you send it to me, I'll respond and include everybody, okay. including really you, and then right. you'll have everybody's so, email. Okay. Do you, you need that too? You want Judy to whatever she sends she's, out to? She's going to have, I'm going to send the select board minutes to her once I've got them. She's going to send me done. the minutes she takes tonight. Yeah. Okay. And then so what, she'll send so I mean, whatever I have to send out, you'll send me the. I'll send, it, I'll send you what, everybody's. I'll understand. send you everybody's email so yeah. that in the future you can yeah. just send it that's, to everybody. That's really where I was going. Is, is right. It would be great if everybody got it and people who the one person who gets it because you open an email and realize oh I'm the one person who got this. Yeah. That's, that's, a, right. that's well, a one. He's not failure. What do, you, do you want the same thing? He's not yeah. failure. All the select boards. Even I only call on the list. That's all I got. Yeah. Either way, I mean, yeah. they have me to, if I get it, I get it to them. Yeah. So Is that okay? Just yeah, I mean, that, I'll okay. send it to you. Yeah. Okay. What I'll do, I'm just going to send you and Judy an email tonight, include the rest of the select board saying, here's everybody's email addresses, and then you'll have them. Okay. How about that? Great. Thank you. Thank you. Thank okay, you. Okay, we need to, wait a minute, we need a motion to adjourn. <laughs> okay. So moved. Second. Yeah, 835. Oh, in favor. Who moved it, Mark?